Oh god, that was atrocious. A 352? Did that really reset, or is that... That's a, that's terrible. The BT-46 and the Lotus 78 might do good right here. I do have an updated version of the BT-46B. Oh, I have to remember to keep the revs up as well. Alright, Parmalat Mobile, go. It is hard to know how fast you can go around corners, to be honest. Now nah, I have to refresh. That pop tire is too much. So I'm just going to try to stay off the curbs this entire time. Uh, I didn't know how much to slow down then. I probably could have actually taken that a full blast if I had had the balls for it. The Palmalat car is ready to kick butt. The 78 is better than this? Hell no! I think you're underestimating this thing. That was atrocious. I thought I could break really late. But it seems that this thing is not infinite on its traction. Probably go a longer gear ratio. God, you have to be ballsy with this. No idea how much better the vacuum cleaner would... Okay, so here's the thing. This could make as much downforce as that and more, depending on how you tune it. But it doesn't go away when you slow down. No, okay. That didn't work either. What the hell? There's a hole? I didn't know there was a hole there. I found a magic hole by being shit at the game. Ground effect is based a lot upon how fast you're going. This, not so much. Uh, if the fan didn't depend on the throttle and was active like 100% of the time, I think... Not sure it would... Okay, so. This is better than the Lotus 78. Just, there's no question. If they had had this for more than one race, it would have completely wiped the floor with the 78 even. Uh, even with it having less power. The use of, like, constant downforce, like the 1J, if that was a better car, yes, would be a whole lot better. I'd love Jimmy Broadbent to give this vehicle a try. Whoops. That would have totally damaged the very precious underbelly of this car. You know what just gone on the inside of that curb? I don't care. I didn't want to go over the curb in this thing. It's brutal. I have an idea. I'm just going to hold the clutch in and full throttle it whilst braking. Oh my god, you can brake so much faster doing that. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is meta right there. Jesus. That was insane. I don't know if my brain can handle that, though. That takes, like, a lot of practice. Holy shit. That's insanity. Oh, again. It gets unsettled. <laughs> it's so scary. Your brain just starts to blank out as you're going around these corners. Not because of the G-forces, but because, like... <laughs> Boy, push! I 
I know I can go faster through there. I think I can... F you know what? I think I can flat foot that. No. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe if I get the angle right. There's a bit of a bump there. That's what I said about sometimes these uh, curb stones. It's more brittle than what you think. Maybe coast with full throttle through that corner. I don't think I have a sixth speed. I do have a sixth speed! I was wasting it! That is the way to do it. Just clutch roll it in, full throttle. Losing control, clutch in, full throttle. What would make this a lot easier is if I was good at racing. It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, okay. Clutch and full floor it when trying to brake from high speed. Oh, you can brake so late if you're just willing to floor it, as opposed to going down in gears like you normally would. I was able to pull up on sand. <laughs> Alright. Beam and G physics fail 101. This takes so much, like, weird abstract thinking to drive. It is not a normal vehicle. Also, this is not the version you guys have. Ah, uh, it takes so much lateral thinking to drive. I'm like 80% sure the one in the workshop is Grotta era? Good. Okay. Well, yeah, go with that then. The braking technique in this vehicle is weird. You also have to know what gear to be in. Which is really hard to do when your engine revs are very strange. Usually you use your, like, ears to hear the engine revs to know when to change down gears. Not in this thing! Yes, if you fix that, unban. On the Capri, that is.
That was a little bit messy. Your senses are lying to you in this car. It is so strange. It's almost faster to also not be in gear around the corner and just let it coast sometimes if your RPM is going to be lower. Better. Could have gone faster. Nah. Messy. Very messy. I think I know where to break, but I can't be sure. Uh, a 325. Not a great lap time. What did somebody say that they did? I know the Gran Turismo is a very different game. It's a little bit more arcadey and stuff like that. I think they said they did a 2 minutes 59. I've actually got a bit of a throbbing head from having to concentrate so goddamn hard. <sighs> this car. Oh my god. It is insanity. It is so incredibly fast. I have to remember how to drive normal cars now. My goodness. Ah! 